Hello, I'm Ale and welcome to Solo Cose Nove. I waited some months uh, for reviewing uh, these uh, little guys uh, because I wanted to be objective uh, about uh, these uh, wonderful uh, lenses uh, and because it's hard uh, to find uh, differences uh, from uh, the two. Comparison between Lumix 20mm Mark I and Mark II. On my left hand I have uh, version 1, the Mark I, and in my right hand the Mark II. As you can see the main difference is the color because the sizes, the weight uh, and uh, the um, build quality is quite the same but the Mark II is made of metal so it's beautiful to see, it's more resistant and it feels like a premium lens. And it is. But before moving on, remember to leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! Furthermore, on the website solocosanove.it you can find all about Solocosanove World. Design and build quality. Both lenses share a similar design philosophy. They are compact, lightweight, easy to carry around with you but the Mark II is more refined in its appearance and build quality. Optical performance. In terms of optical performance, both lenses excel, delivering sharp images with minimum distortions. The Mark II version, however, benefits from some optical improvements, resulting in even better image quality. It's more sharp and with reduced chromatic aberrations producing images with exceptional clarity and detail, autofocus speed and performance. The Lumix 20mm f1.7 Mark II has a faster and accurate autofocus system compared to Mark I. It utilizes stepping motor for STM technologies, which are silent and precise. This is quite useful when you take pictures of fast moving objects and of course if you are doing a self image vlogging uh, stuff like that with a camera and the microphone mounted on the camera it's more silent it's good to have a silent motor so you won't hear that in the audio track aperture and low light performance both lenses feature a wide maximum aperture or 1.7 allowing an exceptional low light performance and the ability to create a beautiful bokeh. The wide apertures also facilitates the faster shutter speeds, reducing the risk of a camera shake. However, the Mark II improves the quality also of the vignetting effect when shooting wide open, resulting in more evenly images. Price and value. Of course, the Mark II offers some notable improvements, but you have to consider also the price because you can easily find Mark I second handed and it's a beautiful lens. So you can choose a best build quality, slight better performances or the classic Mark I which is also an amazing lens. And I'll leave you some image here on the screen so you can evaluate yourself the image quality. Final considerations. Both the Mark I and the Mark II are an excellent choice for a photographer and also for video makers because you can also uh, shoot fantastic videos with these lenses maybe it's uh, quite hard to use them in manual because the gear is uh, very thin but uh, they are fantastic to carry around with you because uh, they are so small and uh, <laughs> they have uh, an exceptional build quality and uh, the image is really sharp so if you want uh, a silent one you can choose the Mark II or you can go with the Mark I because uh, they are a fantastic choice in any way. And that's all for today. Thank you for following me and see you in the next exciting video. Ciao!